Hello, this is Nara Jab, and welcome to a Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, guys, we have got the second in from Yakonan. You guys requested this in the comment section down below, so I thought I'd do this review and hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys want me to do any reviews on any certain informs or team of seasons or any just normal cards, then make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try and review as many players as you guys suggest um, as you do. So yeah, let's get into this review. Yakonan, 81 rated striker for Hannover 96 in the Bundesliga. Prices are on the screen right now, but his key in-game stats are 84 ball control, 93 finishing, 90 shot power, 89 dribbling and 94 long shots. He's got 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. He's got high medium work rates as well. And now we're going to get into some goals and some passings. Hope you guys enjoy them. And now let's get into a bit more detail about his in-game stats and how it affects his card. So his pace feels a bit like 86 or 87. His card face stats only says 85. But in-game, he's got 86 acceleration, 87 sprint speed and 88 agility. He's also 5'8", and often the smaller players in the Ultimate Team do feel a bit more uh, quick than his card face stats says. So, I really, really like Yakonan's pace. He can see, look at that pace there, just gets past that guy. Nice little pass into Pablo Hernandez, and look at that shot on his left foot, right into that top left-hand corner, right in the fourth minute as well. Really, really good. He can change games. He is so good. And we'll talk about shooting, as I just mentioned that then. He's got 93 finishing, which means his finesse shot is going to be amazing. I've scored quite a few finesse shots as well. And you'll have a look at that and hit this clip here. This nice little figure over the head and then cuts back inside here. Pass that player and look at that finesse shot there. Right into that bottom left-hand corner. And his finishing is amazing. He's also got 94 long shots and 90 short power, which means his power shot is going to be just as good as his finishing. And basically, his shooting is unbelievable. One of the best cards that I've actually played with his shooting. It always seems to go in. And look at that pass there as well. He can pass as well. It's not all about shooting and pace. He's also got very, very good dribbling. In-game, he's got 89 dribbling and 84 ball control and 87 balance, which is very, very nice. The control is going to be amazing. He's going to be able to jinx pass players really, really easily. Again, he can pass as well. We'll talk about his passing now. His passing is not too bad. They can see some examples of his short passing. But in-game, he's got 82 short passing, sorry, which is very, very good. But um, he's also got 59 long passing, which is pretty poor. And his first and foremost a right mid position. And often you need you know, really, really good passing for a right mid to cross the ball in and stuff like that. So I felt his first and foremost a bit wasted at the right mid position. But now he's a striker. He is unbelievable. He is so cheap as well for a second and form because of the team of the season. So I highly recommend if you've got, you know, 20k, just go ahead and buy him because he is so good. He's really, really fast. He's got amazing shooting. He's got decent passing. The only thing that could be... A a tiny bit improved is his heading. I didn't think his heading was that good whatsoever. He's only 5A, as I said. He's got 83 jumping, which actually is quite good. But when I did cross it into him, he didn't really seem to get his head to it. So that is one uh, um, like bad point about Yakonan. But if you put like a really tall striker from the Bundesliga, maybe like Lewandowski or something alongside Yakonan, I'm sure that I, it won't mind too much. They can see he actually shrugs uh, company off the ball. And he's actually got 70 strength in game, which is pretty good for a player who's only 5 for 8 things. He just pushes company off the ball, and there he just uh, has a really, really good composure just to finish that right into the back of the net. You can see the final goal that I scored with him. Great turn there, and just smashes that into the bomb right hand corner past the keeper. That is the final goal that I scored for this review. And now, guys, we're going to go on to the overview, and I'm going to talk about his pros and cons. So let's firstly talk about his pros. He's got amazing pace. He's got um, 85 on his card, but he does feel a bit like 86 or 87. Deadly shot, amazing finishing long shot and power. Great dribbling in a good league, the Bundesliga. It's also very, very cheap for a second and form around 20k. And also he's got a four-star weak foot, which I really, really liked. His four-star weak foot felt just as good as his normal foot, in my opinion. And uh, I definitely like that about his card. His cons, he's only got average heading. I didn't like that too much. Um, he's also got high medium work rates, which isn't too bad, but it could be improved to high-low because sometimes he does get back to defend. He also doesn't have four-star skills. He only has three-star skills. I'm not skiller, so I don't mind that too much. But if you guys do like the skill, then um, obviously that is a uh, disadvantage for Yakunan. But overall, guys, he's an amazing player. I highly recommend you pick him up for such a cheap price around 20k so thanks for watching guys as i said leave a like if you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time goodbye